Kyle Brads from Shop Motorsports, and here today we're gonna to be doing a helmet cleaning video. So basically, this helmet has lots of thousands of miles on it, and it's been a while since I cleaned it, and it's pretty disgusting. And today I wanna to show you a couple different methods that I use to clean helmets. I used to strictly use Dawn dish detergent, just a mild soapy water, um, and that's what I've been using for years and years and years and years. But more recently, I'd say in the last three years or so, I came across the Motorex Helmet Care. This stuff is amazing. After using the Helmet Care, it's like your helmet just came back from the dry cleaners. It's that fresh. It's an amazing product, does an amazing job. So today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my helmet apart, I'm gonna show you how filthy the components of this helmet are on the inside, and then I'm gonna show you on one half of the helmet, I'm gonna use the Helmet Care, and the other half, I'm gonna use the Dawn Liquid Dishwashing Detergent, and you're gonna be able to see the differences of how those two work. They both do a great job, but their results are a little bit different. The neat part about the Helmet Care is you can use this anytime that you wanna clean your helmet. Just a really quick job. You literally pop the top off, spray it all on the inside of your helmet, come back in 10 minutes and wipe it out with a paper towel or a rag or something like that. Very, very easy to do. Now, one thing I wanna stress to begin with, whenever starting to work on your helmet, to clean your helmet, never ever just grab a scrubby and start scrubbing on it because you're gonna destroy your helmet. The finish of your helmet is delicate. Um, I know that it's, you know, meant to be out there in the elements, but it is delicate. So the first step in cleaning the outside of the helmet is gonna be to lay some moist paper towels down over the top. That's gonna allow that moisture to stay on the helmet and not dry up. That's why we moisten the paper towels, let them sit there. That's gonna deep penetrate the bugs, the guts, the dirt that are on this helmet. Now this helmet doesn't just get ridden on the street. It gets ridden off-road as well. Lots of dual sport trips have been ha had on this helmet and you're gonna find out there's gonna be a lot of dirt that's gonna come out of the inside of this helmet when we start cleaning it. So first step, I'm gonna remove the internal components. We're gonna take a look at those. I'm gonna remove my intercom, and then we're gonna start soaking the outside of the helmet with those paper towels. So let's get started. So now that all the internals are removed and electronics are removed out of the helmet, I'm gonna go ahead and run this under warm water. Now, if there was padding inside here, you obviously wouldn't want to run the whole helmet underwater, but I'm not gonna hurt anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and run the, water, the helmet underwater, get all this kind of dirt on the inside, just kind of be wiped out, and then I'll throw my paper towels over the top so we can marinate the outside shell. All right, so while my helmet's marinating, I'm gonna go ahead and put a couple drops of Dawn dishwashing liquid into this tray right here. And then gonna hit it with some nice warm water. And this is gonna be the solution that I'm gonna use to clean half of this helmet over here. All right, so which one of these? I guess they're both pretty equally dirty, huh? It's not really gonna matter. Go ahead and throw this guy in. Now you're just gonna wanna massage this. It's, it really is like a hand wash type scenario. You just wanna squish it around a little bit. You don't wanna like really jack on it. All right, so let me sit that in here for just a minute. Technically this whole cover does come off and I didn't really need to get all that foam wet, but the majority of people out there, that's not gonna be removable, so. All right, now we're gonna take the helmet care and we're gonna spray this on these other components. Again, this helmet care foam can be used inside your helmet. You just literally spray it inside the helmet, walk away, let it sit, and then you can come back and wipe it out with a paper towel, but that's not quite the direction that we're going today because we're doing a complete helmet clean here. Okay. And then let's move back to this guy. All right, as you can see, we have a little bit of grime here in the bottom of this bucket. I'm gonna dump that out and repeat that process again. Oops. 
Now I usually do this two, three, four times, however many times I need to repeat the process until I get clear water in the tray. And then I know that I've got as much of the dirt out as I possibly can. Now, as I was saying earlier, the Dawn dishwashing liquid is what I've been using since the inception of my motorcycling career. But as you can see, that helmet care is a, a lot easier to use. You literally spray it on, wipe it off, and you're good to go. Still dirty. Now, we'll have to say that the Dawn does not smell as nice and fresh inside the helmet when I'm done cleaning. I mean, it has a nice fresh smell, but that Motorex uh, helmet care smells a lot better. Still a little bit dirty, but getting cleaner. Okay. Now, no soap. Let's rinse this one. Let's just do without soap and just make sure that that's going to come out with clean water. Set this guy in. We can see nice crystal clear water. I'm going to show here that we got number one, we got all the soap out. And the second thing we're going to be showing here is the fact that the water is crystal clear. Repeat that process again. Gross. I'm gonna soak this guy again. Ugh. All right, and now. Actually, that's some pretty clear water. Could use another rinse, but pretty close. Okay. So now we'll just set these back here to dry. Now, I'm gonna take this guy. Is there a paper towel got? I'm going to take my microfiber cloth. Pretty darn good. All right, so here we have our two cheek pads. This one here was the Dawn, and this one here was the Motor X. The Dawn one has a very neutral smell, and the Motor X smells like it just came back from the cleaner. As you can see, they came out relatively the same. This one could be a little bit cleaner if we went ahead and continued to put multiple coats of the Helmet Care product on it and wiped it out with the rag. I mean, we didn't really sink this one in water multiple times as we did the one with Dawn, so the fact that 
visibly might be a little bit dirtier, even though the chemical actions ate away all of the, uh, the germs. I mean, I don't know. I love this option though. The fact that I can just open my helmet up, spray this in, 10 minutes later wipe it out, and my helmet feels like a clean helmet, that makes me feel good. So now let's get this thing back, put back together. As you can see, this is the neck roll here. Came out really clean. This, again, was a piece that we used the helmet care product on. It smells phenomenal. And then this here is gonna be the head piece that we use the Dawn on. As you can see, the difference between these two, which one came out cleaner, is pretty close to the same. But the work of the helmet care, the amount of elbow grease that went into the helmet care product on, on this one here is significantly less. It's not as wet, it's not dripping with water, and literally if you just wanted to spray it in and ride your motorcycle in 10 minutes, you would be able to do that without letting your helmet have it sit and dry. Okay, now let's button this thing back up real quick. Now the last step of this process is gonna be to clean the external portion of the helmet. This is for matte finishes, and this is for standard or glossy finishes. This helmet is actually not a matte finish, even though it kind of looks that way over years of use. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the helmet care here. So the way this works is I typically don't spray directly onto the helmet. So I typically do is just wet my rag, and then I go over the helmet like this. And that's just gonna help clean the external surface of this helmet, kind of polish it up, making it look as good as new as I possibly can. Now granted, this helmet's almost four years old. Now believe it or not, even half helmets get grungy. And with this particular style of helmet, the liner is not removable. So this is the perfect case to use the Motor X Helmet Care. We're literally gonna spray this in, set the helmet aside, and then we're gonna come back, wipe it out, let it sit for 10 minutes, and it's ready to wear. All right, as can be seen, this helmet foam is now dissolving all of the bacteria that's inside this helmet. Now, this is a relatively clean helmet, but if you had a dirty helmet, you would just now go back through, wipe the helmet down. And the neat part about this particular procedure is this, this helmet, I mean, yes, the foam is damp, but in just a matter of like 10 minutes, this will be completely dry and you'll be ready to ride again. And there you have it. That's the step-by-step -step process on how to clean your own motorcycle helmet at home using either standard household solutions like Dawn dishwashing detergent or chemical reaction type products such as the helmet care solution itself. This is a really good way to keep your helmet fresh and clean smelling so you can have the most enjoyable ride out there. Again, thanks for joining us. If you liked what you saw here, please give us that thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you can be alerted when new videos like this are released. I'm Kyle, thanks for watching. Till next time, take care and ride safe.